M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Looking closer at this Zwee 154 Pro Mini Oscilloscope. So I don't really use oscilloscope, but this was £18 delivered, and I think for a few pounds more, you can get one with a built-in battery that connects just here. Uh, so at the moment, we've got the USB-C going into it, providing power, and it's showing a full battery, and it, you can see it's, it's actually detecting... Uh, uh, my audio one two one two but anyway let's just uh, quickly just zip around what the uh, the front screen is showing us so you've got up uh, here you've got the run stop command in this line is the memory buffer we're showing auto mode there and uh, we've got trigger mode here and that's your if you had a battery that's there and you've also got uh, the rising falling edge here on the bottom left here, we've got the amplitude, the probe compensation, time divisions, I think waveform generated, just showing us menu there. Now, remember, I, I don't use oscilloscope, so I'm just going through the functions. If we press um, the rise and the fall button here, we can just go down like so, or to the right, look in the middle here, look. See the way that's moving? Just up there, and then we can go up and down. If we're in the right mode, it will go up and down as well. We've got stop as well. We've got auto select, see that, auto. So I think, you know, for hardly any money, <laughs> I notice you've got a couple of probes there as well, and it does come with BNC and these connectors here. I'll show you them. Little crocodile clip connectors. If we go into the menu, press menu here, and then you start to select the different modes. So at the moment we've got that one highlighted as measure. You can select different items here, just going across. So if we choose RMS and click enter, click OK, it enables it and it, there's lots of other selections. You can see, push again, mode to go down. You don't press menu because that gets rid of it. If you press menu, then go mode, you're down to trigger. You can see the different selections there. Trigger mode, trigger level, trigger edge, manual, manual, auto, ETC. Push mode again. Display options, brightness, darkness, you've got persist there, roll. I think that's about it. Then we'll go mode again. We've got set, and I believe in this one there isn't, I don't think you do need to remove the, the BNC. And if you go across, you can actually select calibrate. Like that. See the OK? Click OK. Let's just do it. See what it does. And it's it says calibrate. Not sure how long it takes. Goes back to menu. Oh, it's still doing it. We'll just pause while it does that. So there's your BNC. The battery just sticks on the inside there. I'm pretty sure you could buy one for a few pounds. You can see the connector there. Remember, it's, it's a budget device, so we're not expecting anything super duper. It does actually generate a signal as well. That's part of the menu. If I Can I click stop? No, it's not going to let me uh, interfere with the calibrate process. I'm going to be naughty. I'm going to do that because I can calibrate later. I'm just going to unplug, plug back in. On-off button is on top. It lights up green when there's power there. I've noticed that it does actually provide a serial connection on my PC. If you right click device manager, it comes up with USB serial CH340, COM11. So my guess is that this can actually be read using a program, uh, which is, I think is excellent. That's such a budget device. And if we go menu, go down the mode there to signal generator and you can you know, select the different type of signal. Let's push a few buttons. Right and left, up and down. Can we go mode? No, 
Let's just take this out. Enter, click OK. Ah, oh, look, there's the wave. Look, the different kind of waves. See it changing here and here. So if you use these devices and um, you enjoy using them and testing different apparatus out, circuit, circuits and many, many other things, and this was £18 delivered and there's a few other options that you can purchase. And this one was on AliExpress. I think it's very good value for money myself and with a battery and then you can have the convenience where you can take it anywhere without having to worry about powering it but it's just it is a USB-C connector so thanks for watching my channel it does come with an instruction manual so uh, much of what I talked about will be here just scan it so you can see just in case you want to pause and read items There you go. Nice color manual. Turn it over, more there. Analysis of common problems. Thanks, thanks for watching my channel. Now, what does this say? Zwee.com. I wonder if the software is there that we can download and actually view this, the, you know, what, what we are receiving via their website. I'm going to just quickly check that out. I've got it here. All the different oscilloscopes. I'm curious to know if they've got any software support. Video, so I'll put the link in for this as well in the in the description of this user manual. Someone let me know if there is software products. And uh, thanks for watching my channel. Let's see if I can quickly find it. There it is. There. Does that look the same? Maybe that's the newer version. Any software? So I'm looking for, it does look the same. Signal generator, powerful hardware, standardized design. There's all your different waveform types. So thanks for watching my channel. Good description there. Link in the description. Bye for now, 73.